Speed and agility are decisive advantages in any form of aerial dominance. The jet age took speeds to an entirely new level, as wings became smaller and engines figured out new ways to optimize aerodynamic efficiency. For fixed-wing airplanes, delta-shaped or swept-back wings produce the greatest speeds. But which of the aircraft can attain the greatest speed? I'll give you a hint, it's not the MiG-3. So get ready for today's video, we're going to count down the 12 fastest military aircraft. Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor The F-22 Raptor is a fifth-generation stealth fighter jet developed by Lockheed Martin for the U.S. Air Force. The twin-engine aircraft has the capability to perform supersonic flight without the use of an afterburner and can fly at a speed exceeding Mach 1.8 at almost 1,500 miles per hour. The fighter aircraft is armed with an M61A2 Vulcan 22mm cannon, AIM-120 AM ram, and AIM-9 Sidewinder air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missiles. Joint Direct Attack Munition, JDAM kits, and GUB-39 small-diameter bombs. Powered by two Pratt & Whitney F-119 PW100 turbofan engines with two-dimensional thrust vectoring nozzles, the fighter can fly at a maximum altitude of 65,600 feet 20, meters, and across a maximum range of 1,840 miles around 3,000 kilometers. Eurofighter Typhoon the Eurofighter Typhoon is a twin-engine canard delta wing multi-role fighter. The Typhoon was designed originally as an air superiority fighter and could attain the speed of Mach 2, 1,550 miles per hour, at 10,975 meter altitude. The Typhoon entered operational service in 2003. It has entered service with the air forces of Austria, Italy, Germany, the United Kingdom, Spain, and Saudi Arabia. The Eurofighter Typhoon is a highly agile aircraft designed to be a supremely effective dogfighter in combat. Later production aircraft have been increasingly better equipped to undertake air-to-surface strike missions and to be compatible with an increasing number of different armaments and equipment, including Storm Shadow and the RAF's Brimstone. The Eurofighter Typhoon is fitted with two Eurojet EJ-200 engines, each capable of providing up to 60 kilonewtons 13,500 pounds of force of dry thrust and more than 90 kilonewtons 20,230 pounds of force with afterburners. Sokoi Su-27 Flanker The Su-27 is often proclaimed the best and most successful Russian fighter of the Cold War era. After the end of the Cold War and USSR, the Sokoi developed various advanced variants aimed at prospective foreign customers. Its top speed of 2.17 Mach or 1,553 miles per hour brings it to the very edge of USSR craftsmanship with a twin engine and the first fly-by-wire control system on a Russian jet ever. It was built for air superiority to counter the new American 3.5 Gen fighters such as the F-15 Eagle. It is armed with a 30mm gun and 10 external pylons that can hold both air-to-air, -air, heat seeking short- and medium-range missiles. Grumman F-14 Tomcat The Grumman F-14 Tomcat is a two-seater supersonic fighter with wings with variable geometry and two powerful engines. This aircraft can attain a maximum speed of Mach 2.35, 1,544 miles per hour at high altitude. After the withdrawal of the U.S. Navy service in 2007, the last operator of F-14 is the Air Force of the Islamic Republic of Iran. The Tomcat was considered as an air superiority fighter and interceptor in charge of defending the naval groups against aircraft belonging to the Soviet Navy, which were armed with cruise missiles. The F-14 was equipped with long-range radar. The Hughes AN-AWG-9, which was originally developed for the F-111B, able to detect targets the size of bombs distances beyond 100 miles 160 kilometers, achieving 24 targets to pursue and attack 6 simultaneously. Originally, the primary armament of the F-14 missile was AIM-54 Phoenix, able to focus on a target up to 120 miles 200 kilometers. General Dynamics F-111 Aardvark it's a tactical strike aircraft and bomber capable of flying at Mach 2.5, 1,650 miles per hour. The F-111 pioneered several technologies for production aircraft, including variable sweep wings and automated terrain-following radar for low-level, high-speed flight. 
Its design influenced later variable sweep wing aircraft, and some of its advanced features have since become commonplace. It had, before its retirement in 1998, nine hardpoints and two weapon bays, together with being able to deliver a payload of 14,300 kilograms of bombs, a nuclear bomb, air-to-air -air missiles, or a 2,000-round machine gun could be fitted. McDolan Douglas F-15 Eagle The F-15 has been claimed to be one of the most successful aircraft ever built and is still in service with the U.S. Air Force. It was introduced in 1976 and will continue to be a part of the Air Force beyond 2025. There are almost 1,200 F-15s built by Boeing Defense. Space and Security is a multi-role strike fighter that forms the backbone of the U.S. Air Force, and it has been exported to Saudi Arabia, Singapore, Israel, and South Korea. The Eagle's twin-engined and thrust-to-weight ratio of almost 1 to 1 can propel the almost 40,000-pound, 18-ton aircraft more than 2.5 times the speed of sound, 1,600 miles per hour at high altitude. The F-15E is powered by two P&W F-100 or GE F-110 turbofan engines, each with a thrust rating of 29,000 pounds of force with afterburning. The F-15 can load a variety of Sparrow, Sidewinder, 120 AM ram drop bombs, for instance, Mark 84 or 82, or external fuel tanks on its 11 hardpoints. Together with its 20mm M61A1 Vulcan gun, it's no surprise that this buster has over 100 confirmed aerial combat victories. Mikoyan MiG-31 Foxhounds, due to its enormous twin engine with a thrust of 2 to the power of 152 kilonewtons, it was able to fly at supersonic speeds at both high and low altitudes. The MiG-25 speed was limited to Mach 2.83 in operations, 1,860 miles per hour, but it could reach a maximum speed of Mach 3.2 or more, with the risk of damaging the engine beyond repair. It is a Soviet interceptor built to take out enemy aircraft and has great capabilities to do so using a combination of active and passive radars. Four Foxhounds can together control a front of 900 kilometers in length. The production ended in 1994, but it is unknown exactly how many MiG-31s were built, but between 400 to 500 is said to be a qualified guess. The MiG-31 is still today in service with the Russian and Kazakhstan Air Forces. Mikhayan MiG-25 Foxbat This jet was a Soviet machine built to intercept American aircraft during the Cold War, like the SR-71 and high-flying surveillance aircraft. Since it was built to intercept the SR-71, it was required to have an extreme speed, hence its Mach 2.83 1,860mph top compatibility. It was initially designed to intercept the Mach 3 compatible XB-70 Valkyrie and other strategic bombers before they can deliver their payload. The Foxbat features four air-to-air -air missiles, which made it an interceptor rather than a reconnaissance aircraft. Over 1,100 Foxbats were built between 1964 and 1984. However, today the use is limited, with its only user being Russia, Syria, Algeria, and Turkmenistan. XB-70 Valkyrie Designed by North American Aviation in the late 1950s, the XB-70 Valkyrie was a unique aircraft with six engines, which together could accelerate the 534,700-pound, 243-ton aircraft to a velocity of Mach 3.1, 2,056 miles per hour. The speed resulted in the frame of the aircraft being heated up to as much as 330 degrees Celsius in some areas. The extreme speed was needed, firstly, to accelerate away from Soviet interceptors, secondly, to be able to escape the blast of the nuclear bombs that it was capable of dropping. The big size was needed to carry the fuel needed for the 4,300-mile, 6,900-kilometer flight into the Soviet Union and escape without refueling, and to house the 14 nuclear bombs. The B-70 program was cancelled in 1961 because the program's high development cost and appearance of improved high-altitude service-to-air missiles. Lockheed YF-12 This jet was an American interceptor prototype with a top speed of Mach 3.35. It looked almost like the SR-71 Blackbird and featured three air-to-air -air missiles. The reason for it looking a lot like the SR-71 was because the SR-71 was based on the YF-12 and also because both of them had the same designer, the extremely famous Clarence Kelly Johnson. 
Only three YF-12s were built, but the program still made it into the history books. With its highest speed, highest altitude, both these were later surpassed by the Blackbird and biggest interceptor records. Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird After its introduction in 1966, it has been used by both the USAF and NASA. 32 Blackbirds were built, all used for reconnaissance and experimental research. It featured stealth technology. Its fuselage was made of alloy titanium to withstand the high temperature around 200 to 300 degrees Celsius caused by air friction due to the high speed attained. Mach 3.2 plus, 2,200 plus miles per hour. These aircraft could outrun the interceptors or surface-to-air missiles that were fired at it. Due to its fantastic speed, this plane was flying so high and so fast that pursued by a ground-to-air missile, the classic avoidance maneuver was simply to accelerate. For missions at high altitudes and speeds, both the crew wore a pressure suit reminiscent of the early costumes astronauts wore. The aircraft was disabled with the end of the Cold War due to high-hour operational costs. Only three are held in place by NASA to study. North American X-15 This aircraft has the current world record for the fastest manned aircraft. Its maximum speed was Mach 6.72, 4,520 miles per hour. To be stable at these super high velocities, it had to feature a big wedge tail. However, the downside of this was at lower speeds, the drag was extremely big from such a tail. Therefore, the B-52 Stratofortress had to carry it up to an altitude of about 4,600 feet 14, meters, before dropping it. The X-15 was used at such extreme speeds that it did not use traditional ways to steer, but instead it used rocket thrusters. This made it possible to reach altitudes higher than 60 miles 100 kilometers, which was one of its world records. These are the three records that brought the X-15 rocket jet into history. It was the first operational space plane. It got to a height of more than 100 kilometers, and it flew more than six times the speed of sound. We hope you enjoyed this quick look at some of the fastest military aircraft in our skies. Please give this video a like if you've learned something new, and make sure you subscribe so you stay tuned with our channel. See you next time!